Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Medic Pro N95 respirator. These are by the brand Pant Medic Solutions. As you guys can see from the listing, these are N95 made in the USA. The box comes with 20 respirators for $39.95. It also has a 4.3 out of 5 rating. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. The first thing that I would like to say about this respirator is that you can't really read the markings on this respirator. And per NIOSH, NIOSH requirements, the manufacturer must add this information to the respirator. But it is very hard to actually read what it says. It is a very thin material considering there are a 5 layer mask. Let's take a look at their nose wire. It, it does have a very flimsy nose wire. And let's take a look at the straps. So let's go ahead and see how these fit on my face. I'm gonna get a new one because I did stretch the headband on on these. So you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna flatten out the nose wire. So this is definitely a medium to large fit because they fit on my face very big. This lower strap is not tight enough for me so I am getting a lot of leakage on the bottom of the respirator. So I'm gonna try to play around with the nose wire a little bit and try to get the best seal. I'm still getting some leakage here on the side of the nose. So the material of it is comfortable to wear, it's just that I am getting a lot of leakage, but it could be because of the sizing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator we are placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This this correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.86% with a pressure drop of 12.2 millimeters of water. The second sample had a full treasure percentage of 99.89 and a pressure drop of 13.2 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.18 and had a pressure drop of 12.9 millimeters of water. So overall, these N95 respirators are well within the N95 standard. They tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency and breathability. For the construction quality, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. And when it comes to the fit, as you guys saw, it doesn't really fit properly on my face. Because they are a larger mask, I was getting a lot of leakage all over my face. And for the comfort, they are really comfortable face masks to wear. And like I said, they are within the N95 standard. So if you do have a larger face, these could be a great fit for you. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you'd like to send us any mask or respirator, please take a look at the description box. We're going to leave our address along with our website, which is acumed.com, and our master tasting data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.